Hey everyone, today we are all dressed up in the suit and tie and the vintage Jeje Le Cotre and we are talking about my Red Wing Top 7. That's right, finally, my Red Wing Top 7. And today I'm wearing the 8884s, I'm breaking those in, why not? <laughs> with the suit and tie, we can go with the mossy oaks. Alright, so here we go. Coming in at number 7. We have the Red Wing Engineer. This is the steel toe version. There's also a Klondike, black Klondike without the steel toe, but the Red Wing Engineer is my number seven. This is the ultimate cool boot. I absolutely love an Engineer. I feel great wearing an Engineer. I like the extra height it gives. I like the toughness of the boot, but the Red Wing Engineer, number seven. So I must say, once you break in the engineer, it is quite comfortable. But for me, it takes a lot to break these in. And I honestly can only do maybe eight to 10 hours in these boots at a time. I still have not broken them in, but they are quite comfortable for the first four hours or so, maybe five hours, I'll give them five hours. They are comfortable. There's a good balance between the heel and up to the toe, which I really like. And I honestly just think that they are just a really cool looking boot. And I love an engineer that is completely broken in, that someone's had for 10 years, and it's pretty much they probably wear it maybe every day. It just looks like it can tell a great story. And I love that you can just slip them on. That's, they're super easy. Slip on, slip off, and you go. That's why I say the engineer is on my list. Coming in at number six, the Iron Ranger. 8114 I have here in my hands. This is the black harness leather. I absolutely love this boot. I have the 8119s here as well in the Mesa Oxblood, which is also really nice, and then the 8111s, the 8113s, and then you have the charcoal rough and tough, the um, copper rough and tough, the Red Wing Iron Ranger. I absolutely love this boot. I love the silhouette of this boot. I love the cap toe. This is definitely on the top seven of the best Red Wing boots, the Iron Ranger. The Iron Ranger, what can we say? This is an absolutely beautiful boot. I love the silhouette. The break-in is quite minimal on the Iron Ranger. They look fantastic broken in. They look fantastic brand new. I see these so many times on the streets of New York City. Uh, whether it's someone who's working on set, someone who just wears them to work. But for me, the Iron Ranger is just a spectacular boot. Great for travel, great for everyday wear. Just a beautiful, beautiful boot. Coming in at number five, the Munson Ranger. It's basically an Iron Ranger, but the deluxe version with better leather, or I should say nicer leather. Munson last, which makes it much more comfortable, and the nitrile cork sole. Munson Ranger, number five. Super comfortable, super cool, and the other thing, it's very rare. So coming in at number five, the Munson Ranger. The Munson Ranger, so you know this really grew on me because initially I was not excited about this boot whatsoever. I put it on, I bought it, I tried it on, I walked around in it, I still wasn't sold until I took it home and actually wore the boot. And the Munson Last is absolutely incredible. Now, I think I may have said this before, but the, the uh, Munson Ranger is kind of uh, what would happen if you took a Beckman and an Iron Ranger and they had a baby, you would have the Munson Ranger. That really nice quality leather, and then you have like the Iron Ranger body uh, with this dead detail on the cap toe, just makes these boots pretty special. And the one thing that I really like about these boots is that they're hard to find, not many people have them. And once they are, the leather is broken in on these boots, they look uh, pretty nice. Um, they they look. I think they probably look better once they're a little broken in because brand new. They're just a little too clean and too uh, too uh, shiny. But uh, yeah, the Munson Ranger. Coming in at number four, the Beckman 9060 flat box. The grow cord makes it really comfortable. Having a flat box makes it great with denim as well as trousers, and the leather, the black Klondike, makes it quite versatile. So, there you go. Number four, the 9060 Beckman flat box. So I'm a huge fan of the versatility of the 9060. I have to say though, I've had a hard time breaking them in. The flat uh, toe box 
gave me trouble on the top of my toes. But uh, when I do wear them, I get a lot of compliments on the boot. Um, and that grill cord, uh, which I've been wearing with the Williston, is quite comfortable. It takes impact quite well. Uh, the uh, Klondike leather, which I really love how this ages. And I've seen a pair um, pretty beat up and they look really good. Uh, mine haven't gotten there yet because like I said, they give me, they've been giving me trouble breaking them in, but I like how they look with denim. I like how they look with trousers. These are a great, I think office boot, uh, great, uh, kind of everyday boot. Uh, you can, uh, dress them down and they still look good. They would be the best part of your dress down if you had, if you had to. All right, here we go. Now the top three coming in at number three, the Beckman. Yes, the Beckman. For me, the Rosia outsole is what makes this boot so beautiful. You have really great leather. You have the Featherstone leather. It's tough leather. Rosia outsole, which for me is quite versatile. You can rough this boot up. You can dress it up. And once broken in, these boots are very comfortable. So, number three, the Beckman. The Beckman was my first Red Wing boot as an adult, and I absolutely adore this boot. The Rocia outsole, the leather is very thick. Uh, it's very high quality leather. Um, these, you can dress up, you can dress down. Just that, I, honestly, that Rocia outsole for me makes this boot 100%. And you'll see uh, this 9011 versus the 9013 uh, that, uh, that I'm going to show. This is what the boot looks like when it's brand spanking new, not too many creases, not really broken in yet. And that, that's the one thing about these. So breaking them in could be a bit of a bear, but once you do, they shape to your foot so nicely and they just become very comfortable. So yeah, so if you see here, the 9013s, these I've had, they've been broken in. You can see the Rocha outsole is not as prominent now and I, you could just wear these all day. They're very comfortable once they get to this level. That leather is creased in every single angle. It's just a spectacular boot. I absolutely love the Beckman. I'm going to get uh, the 9016 soon and I want to get the Walnut Settler. I want to get uh, any other kind of Beckman that I may, may be missing out there because I, I really do uh, love that boot before it goes, uh, before it goes adios, before they discontinue it. But uh, yes, that Beckman is beautiful. Okay, so here is where we get controversial. Coming in at number two. The Blacksmith 3340, <laughs> that's right. What I call the ultimate Red Wing boot is coming in at number two. Now, you guys know how I feel about the 3340. The Briar Oil Slick is my favorite leather. This boot is extremely comfortable, extremely versatile. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. You have the uh, Vibram Mini Lug Sole on here for comfort. And uh, yeah, coming in at number two, I know, I know. <laughs> the 3340 uh, blacksmith in the briar oil slick this is a really nice boot but it's not my number one I know this is my number two <laughs> I know I know I know I know I know but yes you guys know how I feel about this boot <laughs> Well, you guys know how I feel about that briar. That briar oil slick is just the texture, the color, so versatile. You know, I absolutely adore briar. And uh, I am still on uh, my way to collecting everything briar by Red Wing. This is a, another boot, the blacksmith, which you can dress up and dress down. Looks great with denim, looks great with chinos. Uh, possibly you can even wear these with uh, some kind of uh, wool trouser, depending on how beat up uh, your uh, blacksmiths are. But um, the, the briar uh, oil slick to me is what makes this boot fantastic, fantastic boot. And the, the Vibram makes it quite comfortable. Um, yeah, uh, I've said many things about this. You know, I, well, you know how I feel about the uh, 3340. All right, here we go. The number one Red Wing boot on my top seven list is you ready? The Beckman and Hawthorne Mel Skinner. <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit of a stretch. The number one boot is the custom-made Red Wing boot. This was the uh, blacksmith in Moleskinner, and I had it replaced 
that had the sole replaced with the Roche outsole, which makes it a Beckman. I took out the, uh, the speed hooks and put in uh, eyelets all the way through and put it on the Rocio outsole, so it makes it essentially a Beckman, but it was born as the blacksmith. So my number one Red Wing boot is your own custom design boot to your liking. Make sense? I know, don't get mad, don't get mad. <laughs> but a custom boot is, should be your number one boot. And this one is my number one boot, a customized Red Wing boot. That's a hint, Red Wing, that's a hint. So putting the Rocha outsole on these blacksmiths to me just took them to a whole nother level. If you look at that Vibram and then removing that, throwing on the Rocha, it just, it's just awesome. And the, the best part about it, making a custom boot, is that you will be the only one that, to have these. Unless someone else has done it, then there's two or three of you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're not disappointed. <laughs> Um, I just want to give an honorable mention to the Sheldon and to the Williston, very fine boots, uh, but uh, for me not as versatile as some of the others because I don't feel like you can uh, walk around in the mud in a Williston or Sheldon and feel comfortable as with some of the other boots. But uh, thank you so much for watching and remember be a boot, see you guys next time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.